Hello everyone. Today let us know a little about stroboscopy, and let us also learn why it is a gold standard test for assessment of voice, swallowing and airway problems. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Vidhi Desai, practicing ENT and voice surgeon in the western suburb of Mumbai and Burundi. Today I'll be talking about stroboscopy. Stroboscopy is a laryngeal office-based procedure. It is the gold standard test to diagnose any patient suffering from voice, swallowing or airway difficulties. Stroboscopy came into origin in 19th century, but today because of latest developments in science and scientific technology, we have the best version of uh, stroboscopy, which is the medical system available at Apex Super Speciality Hospital, Burundi. Stroboscopy relies on the principle of Talbot's law. As per Talbot's law, any image which falls on the retina stays there for 0.2 seconds even after removal of the image. So when sequential images are projected on the retina, each for less than 0.2 seconds, we get an illusion of a continuous video. So vocal folds vibrate at around 100 to 400 times a second and strobe light is an extremely bright light at short bursts of approximately 5 microseconds. This allows us to capture individual still images at selected points from a sequential vibratory cycle which are then merged to create an illusion of a vocal fold vibration. So the features of the vocal fold which we can identify from the stroboscopy are mainly the frequency of the patient, the range of the frequency of the patient, the symmetry of the vocal folds, the periodicity, the amplitude, the regularity of the vocal fold, the mucosal wave, whether it is symmetrical or symmetrical, normal, diminished or absent, the glottic closure, whether it is complete or incomplete, the glottic uh, gap, whether it is anterior, posterior, uh, elliptical or hourglass, and whether there are any non-vibratory mucosal or uh, edges or non-vibratory mucosal areas or stiffness in the vocal fold. Thus, this gives us a very detailed study of the vocal folds and helps us to really identify the reason of the hoarseness of the patient and helps us to treat our patients even better.